accept that the case for independence is yet to be won. But the election last week put beyond any reasonable argument our mandate to offer people in Scotland that choice. We built a coalition around this principle and now that the election is over, I believe an even broader coalition is being formed. And the right to choose is not just a demand from me as First Minister or from the SNP. It is based on the solemn right of the people of Scotland to decide our own future. We are therefore today calling on the UK government to negotiate and agree the transfer of power that would put beyond doubt the Scottish Parliament's right to legislate for a referendum on independence. So the question is often posed to me, what will you do if Boris Johnson says no? But the document we are publishing today turns that question on its head. It is for the Prime Minister to defend why he believes that the UK is not a voluntary union of equal nations. It is for the Prime Minister to set out why he does not believe people in Scotland have the right to self-determination. It is for the Prime Minister to explain why he believes it is acceptable to ignore election after election in Scotland and to override a democratic mandate stronger than the one he claims for his Brexit deal.